Hello Virgos. It is time for your Sassy Singles reading for July. So I take Sassy Singles to be people who are single. They're okay with being single, but they're also open and looking or open to looking, even if they're not actively looking, open to interactions. And so what we're going to do with these first three cards is look at how you're coming into this particular month. And then we're going to look at five sets of cards that are potential interactions you have with somebody during the month. Some of those interactions will likely flop, and some of them, hopefully, it's not always, but hopefully, <laughs> um, will be potentially fruitful. All right, so what I have for you coming into the month is the Queen of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Lovers. So I take this to be that you are, in fact, actively looking. With the Lovers card here, you may have found somebody that is making you feel a certain way. Um, could be more sexual or sensual than romantic, but in any case, uh, I would say in any case with these two wands cards, that's something that you're seeking, is interaction that is not only romantic, but also sensual or sexual. The three of wands would indicate that you are looking broadly, um, not necessarily only locally, but broadly. Um, this three of wands shows somebody secluded, and I don't know that you're secluded, but she's leaving a trail of roses here, and there's a little creature that's starting to follow it. So you might be giving somebody in particular signals that you would like them to approach you. Um, but I would still say you're likely looking very broadly um, in the Queen of Pen or Queen of Pen not Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Um, she's also looking tempting. She's got these little flying donuts. <laughs> flying donuts and cookies around her. And she's confection there. So I don't know that you're intentionally coming across as alluring, but I think you're coming across as alluring, Virgos. All right. The world card is you, and this shows you in your own little world. So how do people react to you when you're in your own little world? Three of Cups. They want you to come out and play. So I don't know if this is friends, or if this is friends who are potentially romantic interests, or if this is a romantic interest. Three of Cups is usually group activity, um, but it could be that somebody who's interested in, interested in you does not necessarily begin with a romantic date, but rather with a group activity kind of a date. Somebody is trying to draw you out of your little enclosed world there. Then we have the Ten of Swords. So this is somebody being way too forward with you. Somebody being way too forward with you and you taking offense at how somebody is approaching you. Maybe other people around you also taking offense here. And then I think this person is going to, this is the Eight of Wands, which is usually a card of communication. So this is dark, right? In this particular deck, she's in the dark and she's got all of these little, like, firefly creatures around her. So it's, it could be somebody sending you continuous apologies. Um, so it could be that if, if in fact it is somebody who has offended you recently. This Ten of Swords could also be you talking about, you know, 
how people have offended you or erred with you or been too aggressive or forceful with you in the past. You could be very open and blunt with people about that. And that this person in the Eight of, Wand, Eight of Wands is sending you reassurances. I don't know if they're genuine reassurances or not, but I feel like it's texting. I don't feel like this is a face-to-face -face conversation. I feel like it's, it's texting or emails or something, or however, there's so many ways people communicate these ways, these days. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's reassurance of some kind. I don't know whether you should take it or not. Let's, let's move on. Here we have the um, seven, the seven, <laughs> the chariot. I was going to say the seven of, it's like, no, it's the chariot, Jennifer. Um, and I feel like this is probably you moving on from whatever happened here. Or it could be you taking um, a vacation. This person is the, the Knight of Cups. This person does not need to be this person. Okay? So this could be separate. But when you are going somewhere... If you let people know that you're going somewhere, somebody is going to either want to go with you or, you know, you could go on a journey with somebody who has a romantic interest in you. I don't know if you realize it to begin with that this person has a romantic interest in you. What I'm hoping this isn't is somebody who tags along intentionally, like somebody who um, learns that you're going somewhere, and it doesn't have to be far, you know, it could be an event that's relatively local, but you know, you're outside of your home, and, um, and somebody who's interested in you, you know, goes to that event as a pretext for bumping into you and saying hello. It doesn't have to be creepy. It could be creepy, but it doesn't have to be creepy. But I, I find myself hoping that that actually is not the case. Because it's not very direct. Um, and, and indicates that this person is not very confident. So, here's you in Five of Swords mode. This is you having zero patience for nonsense. Um... Probably zero patience again. I don't know what it is, but it's showing up here that people are coming towards you in kind of less than appropriate or upfront ways. This is okay, but then something weird happens here, and this is a little weird. And now, and now you're in this mode, which to me is like, okay, carrot, my patience is done with. <laughs> And, and I'm going to tell you, you know, no more stalking me, Carrot. No more whatever it is. I don't know that it's a technical stalker, but it's losing patience with somebody, absolutely. And this person is not going to, well, they're going to mildly object. This is the Page of Swords. This is somebody who, if you're in this mode, they are no contest. But they're going to, uh, I would say, snipe back at you a little bit. It's like as they're retreating, they're going to tell you that that wasn't fair or they didn't mean it that way or something. I would say ignore that. The page is likely to be uh, immature. I think your action is appropriate. Let them, let them be whatever they're, whatever they're going to do, whatever. <laughs> Don't let it bother you. You're vanquishing this person and they don't like it and too bad. Um, so here we have, this is a more polite approach. Although they're hiding a key, it's like, I know I have the key to the Virgo Tower here. I know I have the key, but I'm going to hide it behind my back. And I am going to politely ask the Virgo if I can come in and visit. So this is somebody who's taking a more appropriate approach to you and is going to give you time to respond. 
and you see it coming, or you see this person in full view, there's no sneakiness here, it's all open, so that you can respond however you want to respond. Um, the, this is the judgment card, and so it could be somebody from the past who is wanting to come back and I, I would say maybe open up conversation, um, talk to you again. So it isn't super forward. It's giving you time to consider things. But what they really want is to be the devil. So this is, this is like the return of the carrot creature. <laughs> the return of the carrot creature. who comes back very politely asking entrance they have been vanquished and return but uh, you know with the devil they they have desire desire is what they have that's what they have to offer if that's what you're into I and mean, you, we we had you in wands energy and the whole lovers card here and the sensual you know and the temptation the tempting stuff so maybe this is what you want in the end. You just want them to come towards you correctly, or perhaps you just wanted them to understand that you do have the power to cut them off completely. So you might be playing with fire a little bit here. Um, and I would say, actually, that you are doing a very good job of playing with fire if that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Because you're, 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 you're inviting, you're rejecting. You are controlling the heat this whole time. You have the ability to, to get the person to back off and reapproach and back off and potentially reapproach. I mean, if you want to keep keep them away, you you are able to keep them away. That this is entirely up to you. The extent to which you want to play with this fire. <laughs> All right, Virgos, that's what I have for your sassy single reading for July. I will see you again in August. Take care. Bye-bye.